Hello! In today's video, we are going to dive deeper into the application of BPMN by describing our enterprise architecture process using event subprocesses. Let's begin by describing the simplistic version for developing a system architecture. In our expanded subprocess, we describe four activities scope architecture project, identify architecture primitives, associate architecture primitives, and build architecture model. Now let's add an event subprocess. We will bring in our event subprocess manage primitive repository. If we right click on our expanded subprocess, you will see we have event selected. In this example, we describe how we review, finalize, and approve primitives. We start off by using a non-interrupting signal event. Using a non-interrupting event illustrates that this event subprocess is non-interrupting, meaning it won't impact the encapsulated expanded subprocess develop system architecture. We use a signal and event to indicate that the primary library is updated and general notification is available in the modeling tool. Now we add another event subprocess, cancel architecture project. In this event subprocess, we use an interrupting error start event. When an architecture project is canceled, this is a serious issue. Our first activity in our expanded event subprocess is to synthesize the findings. We use an error and event to throw to the intermediate error event attached to the boundary of our expanded subprocess. This is because when we use the error start event, it is interrupting. This was signifying that the event subprocess would interrupt the encapsulated expanded subprocess develop system architecture. To depict that interruption, we use an intermediate boundary error event on the expanded subprocess develop system architecture. This leads to a new sequence flow to an activity, update architecture schedule, which occurs outside of our expanded subprocess. I'd like to thank you again for joining us. I'd like to thank you again for joining us. Please leave a comment below to let us know what you think. And if you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to hit the like button. Also, if you are interested in learning more about BPMN, please subscribe to our channel as we have a wide range of videos that discuss how you can apply BPMN. Have a nice day.